Hello and welcome back to Logitech G at E3. I'm Louise and today I'm joined by Andrew Coonrad. We're here to talk about what Logitech G is doing at E3. So let's head into the booth. So first off, we're here at the MICE demo area where we can see the new Hero 16K sensors that have been added to the range. Tell me about it. So um, here we have the three new MICE, the G903, G703 and G403 that all have been upgraded with the Hero 16K sensor. It's a great way to be able to demo because we have a bunch of shooter games that are you know, a little bit easier to tell the difference between the higher performance sensor. And then of course, you can also check out G-Hub and see how much better the battery life is as well. So if people don't know about the Hero 16K sensor, tell me a little bit about it and why it's so important. Absolutely. Hero 16K sensor is the most accurate, highest performing sensor we've ever designed. It offers a lot of tracking benefits and performance benefits, but it also is 10 times more power efficient than the previous generation, which with the 903, that translates to 140 hours of battery life over 24, which is insane. We shouldn't be playing for that long. I you mean, we, we can try, but we really shouldn't. Well, and it's run to die. So if you're, you know, gaming a couple hours a day, that can last months, right? So um, without a charge, which is pretty insane. And then on the G703, we went the other route and used that savings in battery life for weight reduction. So not only do you get a little bit more battery life, but also less weight, which is something the community really asked us for. And so we wanted to deliver that. And that's one of the great things about Hero 16K. And finally, tell me about the 403. Yeah, so the G403 is another really popular mouse it's the wired version of the same shape as the G703. That's also being upgraded with the Hero 16K sensor, so all the great tracking performance benefits that you get from that sensor are translated to that mouse as well. So here we are with some of the latest Logitech G headsets from this year, as well as some other exciting tech. But let's talk about headsets first. What have we got here? Yeah, so we're showing all four of the brand new headsets that we launched earlier this year that have some great new technologies like our Pro G 50 millimeter drivers, as well as DTS Headphone X 2.0, virtual surround sound technology. The other great thing about this headset demo area is we're showcasing a technology called Shadow. Okay, so Shadow, I think, is I've been, you know, if you've been paying attention to E3, there's been a lot of discussions around streaming, cloud gaming, that's the future of gaming. So talk to me about Shadow, it's one of these. Yeah, it is, and I think it's the best. So Shadow is a great partner of ours because they are the most high performance cloud-based solution. And in fact, you get access to a super ultra high performance gaming PC, Windows 10, just a normal desktop, using their Ghost device, allows you to pass through USB as well. So that means you can actually use products like our wireless surround sound headsets through Shadow to the cloud and play just like a normal PC. So in terms of what do people need if they want to do Shadow? What's, what's, what comes in the box, so to speak, and what do they not need to worry about? That's a great question. So actually, Shadow is compatible with any device that you have. They also make a set-top box called the Ghost. Um, and so you could choose pretty much any device there, and then you need a subscription, and that will give you access to your own personal PC that you can then install games on, use Logitech devices through G-Hub, just like you normally would on a regular gaming PC. And the amazing thing about this as well is you can use RTX technology, all these things, these work through streaming services, which is kind of incredible, right? That's correct. And one of the great things about Shadow is that you're always going to have access to the latest generation of GPU. So one of the things about cloud is that you don't need to upgrade hardware yourself. They're constantly upgrading their backend servers so that you get all the latest and greatest display technology and performance from that hardware. And that's the power of cloud-based solutions. So tell me, all of these things are ridiculously exciting and I've never seen any of them and I want them all. Tell me tell me things about all these peripherals, all colorful and nice and pretty. They're pretty sweet. I mean, this is one of the cool things about coming to these kind of shows in person is you get to see some of the custom stuff we've done, like the uh, pink Easter mouse and the purple headset for TwitchCon. I mean, lots of cool stuff here. Should surely be an Easter bunny, not an Easter mouse. You, you know, did. that's a good point. Or maybe an Easter hamster, you yeah. know. So I can also see that there's themed ones for esports teams so do the guys use these or are they just celebratory ones or both yeah they could use them if they like and one of the great things about our partnership with the esports teams is that they kind of get to decide whatever they want to use we want them to feel comfortable obviously so things that have the logo on it obviously that's a really nice perk then of course you know these are sort of special editions so not things you can just buy off the shelf yeah i want them all yeah. all of them every single one So, Andrew, we're not just sitting here enjoying the comfort of these racing chairs and mocking each other's driving skills. We're here to talk about the Logitech G Challenge 2019. Tell me about it. That's right. So um, the G Challenge is an amazing way for people to get involved in e-racing. Uh, we're super excited about this. It's a different type of e-sport. You know, I think the two worlds are colliding here where it's really truly bringing those two real racing and e-sports together. We just announced it and we have great partnerships. We've been working with McLaren for a while. And uh, again, it's a great opportunity for, for racers to get involved. So. 
So if you want to know more about the Logitech G Challenge, hit the link on screen now to find out more. That was our tour of the Logitech G booth E3 2019. Let us know what you think in the comments below and I'll try to drive at the same time. This isn't normally happening. And uh, drop us a like if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe oh, to Logitech G for more videos just like this one and to find out more about E3 2019. If you do already subscribe, which we really, really appreciate. Even, even when you drive like this, we really appreciate you subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video Caribou. lands. Ah, stop! <laughs>